We are here at the Eiffel we are Tower. Here. I'm already. This is cute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and this is Jen Restyle and Fashion. Over here we talk about upcycling, thrifting, styling, and through all of the thrifting, um, I talk to you guys about how to incorporate those thrifted pieces into your current wardrobe so you're not just arbitrarily buying stuff at the thrift store. Um, you're buying things that you can really wear and that will last. So if that sounds like something that is interesting to you, then come on, join the family, hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an episode. All right, one of the other things that I talk about on this channel is travel. Now, whenever I travel, I always make sure I try to go to a thrift store or consignment store wherever I am, doesn't matter what country, doesn't matter where in the United States, I am going there. Um, and so I'm getting ready to head out on a trip. I have been to every continent on the planet. I, I have been to many countries. But for some reason or another, this one place that I've been wanting to go to since I was a child, I have not been to. I've been all around it. I have flown over it. I've been next door to it. I've been above it. I've been below it. But I never got to Egypt. And so that is where I'm headed next week. And y'all, I am so excited because this is my birthdaycation. So this video is probably going to be in three parts. Um, this video today we're going to talk about what I'm taking on my trip now I've been to the continent of Africa one two three times so, yeah whenever I've gone in the past well except for one time um, I did go for my birthday when I went to Morocco and it was cool and when I say cool the temperature it was cool and so the temperatures in Egypt right now are like around 60 40 something in the evening 60 during the day I'm like, this is perfect because y'all, when I was in Ghana, I was just, whew, I was burning up. It was so hot. Um, and when I was in Dubai, I had never experienced that kind of heat before in my life. And we were there in August. So that was at the height of the heat. Um, so today we're going to talk about what I'm going to wear and how I'm going to dress for this because it is on the cooler side. So I am super happy about that. But I'm also knowing that I'm going to a Muslim country and there is an appropriate way to dress there. So same as when I was in Morocco, um, even when I was in Ghana, although a little less there because um, they were a lot more westernized there. But when I was in Dubai, um, I basically worn I basically wore dresses every single day. I think I had linen pants on for a couple days, but mostly dresses because that was so easy. They cover you and you can throw something over your shoulders and be good. Um, so this morning, we're just going to talk about um, a few of the hats that I'm taking, some of the pants. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I still have it in here, but... I never showed this to you guys. Yeah, it's not in here. I think I did pack it away. But I haven't had a chance to show you guys. But I got this beautiful um, dress, long dress with long sleeves. It's got a little cutout in the back. I just love it. I think I got it off Pretty Little Things. And that dress is going with me. And it's probably going to be the dress I wear on my birthday. But all right, let's talk about these hats. So. Um, if you saw my Ghana video, you saw this first hat. I actually bought this hat when I was in South Africa, and I just love it. It's got all these little feathers on it, and I've lost a few of my feathers. I thought about going to get some more, but you know what? That just gives it a little character. It's got a little uh, rhinestones around the top, and this hat is so cute on me. I bought it when I was going on safari because for some reason or another, I left my hat at the hotel. And so I'm taking this one back. This one went with me to Ghana. It didn't go with me to Morocco because I had Morocco was the first uh, country that 
I went to in Africa and um, I think I think I showed you guys a couple bags that I got from there I can't wait to look at the leathers when I get to Egypt I hope they have them anyway so this is one hat that I'm gonna take um, this is another hat and I know it's not summer but I don't care and I don't subscribe to the white you know in one season of the year so I'm taking this white hat it's got this blue ribbon blue and white ribbon around it I'm gonna take that and then I bought this cowboy hat when I was on vacation last year in Martha's Vineyard and um, I like it because I can take it on and off when I take it off the um, I can just put it like that on my back so I don't have to hold it so this one is definitely going with me when we go to the pyramids because um, I just I love to wear hats I have this other one that I'm not sure if I'm gonna take because I do have the white with the blue and white but this one's just a little smaller um, now that I have locks um, this hat is a little big on me now so I don't know we'll see all right then as far as clothes let's get into that we're gonna get into some more a little later but I have these linen pants that I made uh, I'm definitely going to take great um, and then by now you've probably seen if you follow me on Instagram you've seen my get ready with me videos and you've seen my last of my leftover new haul and my haul from New York I had some items that I got off of Amazon that didn't arrive until I got back from New York. So I included them. One of them was this top. And y'all, I wish I wasn't on this 365 day not buying because I need about five more of these in different colors. I love this long sleeve half zip uh, bodysuit. I might have to break my, I might have to break it just to get some of these because they they're the perfect base layer um, I got a small and it fits me very snug and I feel like everything is held in place I feel very covered I feel warm they're nice and thick so I'm definitely gonna make sure I do a review but I'm taking the black and the white with me because I am gonna make this trip kind of a monochrome trip um, I, I don't want to take a lot and I want things to be interchangeable but I'm also you know aware that I do like to take a lot of photos but I want to show how I can be more minimalist on this trip because I would like to bring back some bags I love leather handbags and I want to leave room in my suitcase for those bags all right I'm also going to take the pants and top that I got from Karen Britchick the drop so I'm gonna take this um, beige color shirt with the long sleeves and I'm also going to take these pants which now that I look at it I don't know if I need to take those linen pants with me because I have these and they're almost the same color and those are a little heavier which will be better at night because it drops down to 50 at night so scratch the linen pants uh, the other thing I'm gonna take is this long um, cargo skirt you guys have seen this I don't even remember where I got it but it's got this ruching on the side and the pockets and this is perfect I can wear it with that uh, bodysuit I can wear it with a black bodysuit this is def this is a definite um, and then, and sorry that they are not iron, but you guys saw these pants when you saw my Beyonce video. But these are some light blue cargo pants um, with the little ties at the bottom. And I'm going to press these out really nicely. Um, I think that these will be really nice on the trip as well. And then I have this green dress that I've had for years, but it's also just a nice long dress um, with these little layers in it. And it's very comfortable. Um, and I like the green because it's bright and it really pops to me. And then for my birthday dress, if I don't wear that other dress that I'm going to show you later on in the video, um, I wore this dress when I was in Australia and I took pictures in front of the Sydney Opera House 
and this dress is just I know I said I was going monochromatic right well maybe not because I can't help it I just love color you girl it's just I love color but this dress here I just adore it it is long I want to take a picture in this dress in front of the pyramids um, for my birthday with my big balloons that I've got um, I am um, getting these big balloons for my birthday and I'm taking them with me but this dress is an absolute absolutely coming with me I do have another long skirt that can go with that black top so a lot of mixing and matching Okay, sorry about that. My battery died, but I had a chance to not only change the battery, but also grab the dress I was telling you about. And this is the dress. It, uh, it's from Nasty Gal. My bad. It's from Nasty Gal. And you really have to see it on to appreciate it, but you can see how pretty it is. It's got this little metallic thing going on the back of it is out but the front is just so beautiful so it's between this and the other dress um, I do have my lululemon crossbody bags that I'm taking with me I decided I'm not taking sorry about the dog barking in the background um, I decided against taking like my Louis Vuitton or any high-end you know bags with me um, I am taking this bag um, from Morocco um, my girlfriend actually went to Morocco and got this and I was like I didn't see this bag when I was there anyway I'm taking this because it is great for days that I'm in the market shopping because it holds so much this is actually my personal item that I'm taking on the plane because it just holds everything which is why I really want that um, the Jody bag I really want the Jody bag. So anyway, I pop that over there. The Jody bag. That's, that's I feel like I would get so much wear out of the Jody bag because I feel like it's this size. But you know, who knows? I might find a woven leather bag while I'm in Egypt, and that will make me feel like I have what I need there. Hopefully I can find it in black. Alright, so I've got these, and this way I can keep my camera with me. We're gonna talk about all of that later. The pre-trip stuff and then um oh my black um poppy lush dress i'm taking this with me because i can throw you know whatever over it um i can wear it by itself but i'll be you know covered and then up underneath my dresses i always wear some kind of um like foundation some kind of shapewear because that helps to keep me cool and I just feel more comfortable because I don't have on pants I just rather have something on underneath so I will share those with you a little later in the video so for the shoes I have to be ultra comfortable you know I had that problem with my foot um, so I am going to take a pair of shoes I think I'm probably going to take all flats and maybe one pair that has a heel on it but these converse platform shoes I'll be wearing these probably every day just probably every day they are so comfortable these are my best and favorite travel shoe wherever I go when I leave the country or even locally domestically I'm wearing these shoes I do have another pair of Converse but these to me are just they're way more stylish they're super comfortable so I'm taking those and then I'm also gonna take my Timberlands because we might go and do a hike um, which means I probably need to take um, a pair of joggers so I'll probably take those joggers that I got at Target that I love they're like the same color as these and um, I'll probably just get a sweatshirt or something and that's what I'll take the day that we do whatever kind of hike or if we're going to be climbing a lot of stairs. But these are also super comfortable and I like these because they have this mesh on the side so they breathe a lot better. Um, but these are also super comfy. So those, those, I will match up how they go with all my different outfits. 
Um, but I really don't want to take more than three pairs of shoes because I'm going to take a pair of flip-flops because we're going to be at um, a kind of resort hotel for a while. All right, let me get out of here. Um, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I need to get to work. All right, you guys, <laughs> see you later. It's a crazy day today, you guys. So today is the day before I depart for my birthday vacation to Egypt. Um, I have a very long layover in Paris, so I'm going to spend some time there taking you guys vintage shopping um, and then eating, of course. And then we'll get back on the plane and head to Cairo. And I'm going to show you as much as I can. Now, a couple things. I cannot find my GoPro. I have looked everywhere around here. And you guys know I moved recently and things got, you know, moved around. And so I have no idea where my GoPro is. And that is driving me crazy because I need something discreet as I am recording. Um, and not to mention, I'm still working on sewing for this fashion show that is in eight weeks like eight weeks from today the fashion show <laughs> eight weeks you guys that's all I have and I'm not ready I'm so not ready so um, I need to do that I need to clear off my SD cards I need to I just got so much stuff to do it is not even funny all right so I'm headed to work I'll be back tonight um, I'll see you in a few minutes but for me, it's going to be about eight hours. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, and the outfit of the day. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw this already. And I'll just put the camera down so you can see. Um, I have this a camel coat on. Uh, this used to be my mom's. And I love it. Uh, my mother had great style. And um, I have on this, it, the look is completely thrifted for the exception of the shoes and the belt. So this is part of my um, capsule wardrobe, which you probably have not seen the video yet. Probably not, but it's coming. It's how I thrifted an entire capsule wardrobe um, with basics and um, keeping it neutral for the exception of a couple color because y'all know I love color. Anyway, uh, these cream pants that I thrifted, uh, these shoes that I got, I think I got these from Macy's about 10, 10 years ago. I love them, they're so comfortable. And this corduroy jacket blazer that I thrifted when I lived in DC. And so um, the belt is from Amazon. It is a Hermes dupe. Um, and I love it because it matches the shoes and I didn't have a thin belt this color. And so this has really helped with my wardrobe. Um, so by now, if you have seen the video, you know that I'm going 30 days only using pieces from my capsule wardrobe. And see how successful I get. I feel like I'm only going to get past about two weeks because I get bored with that kind of neutral I like little pops of color I like to throw my dresses on although there are two dresses in the capsule wardrobe I don't feel like that's enough for me like I feel like I need more but anyway this video isn't about that this video is about part two of traveling to my birthday vacation so we are going to do just Paris on this video and then the next video I'll be in Cairo for part three and I think Cairo's probably going to be two parts. Maybe. We'll see. All right, you guys. See you back here tonight. Hey, guys. All right. It is evening. <laughs> Late. Uh, yeah, it's like eight hours. More than eight hours later. Like 12 hours later, actually. Just getting home. Um... And y'all, I have so much to do. So I decided, I'll take my shoes off so I lower the camera. Um, I decided that I'm not going to try to sew tonight. i got to find this GoPro and I've got to find my adapters. And I know they are someplace where it's like 
Jen, that's why you put them there. So you would remember where they were. And now I don't. I got a pack. Ah! I'm gonna start looking for this GoPro. I think it's in my cedar chest. Why would I put it there? Why wouldn't I put it somewhere where I could find it? <laughs> this is literally two seconds after I turned off the camera. I went to the closet, GoPro, all my adapters. Like I have tons of adapters, y'all. Y'all see this? Tons of adapters, my big camera, which, um, I'm not sure. There's such controversy over having cameras, but this camera right here is gonna do the job. I don't use it for vlogging unless I'm doing a sit down, but I, I don't, yeah, cause it's just, look at it, it's so big. All right, you guys, I found what I needed, yay! The morning of departure um I, of course i have a full work day i don't leave until tonight so i am headed to work and um i did a little something different with my hair and i'm gonna talk about that for a minute um, and then i gotta go jump on a zoom call but um and i need to finish my makeup i need some um powder on my face Okay, I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna be a little shiny. Um, I'll have to see if I have. I packed away everything for the trip. Um, so I dry rolled my hair to give a little bump to the ends. Um, and I also used, what product did I use? So I used this Pantene Volume and Body on my wig and y'all <laughs> I'm sure you can notice the difference between how my wig looked a few days ago or in past videos um, versus how it looks now it literally does give you body like and this is the shampoo and conditioner so wasn't expecting all of that but <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a lot fuller than it was when I first got it. Anyway, I'm going to go get on this call and we got, um, I got to go to work, run some errands, and then we're going to leave out for the flight tonight. All right, see ya. Hey, you guys, we are at O'Hare. Yeah, we are here. And y'all see how much stuff I got? I got this backpack and then I have my tote. So they have baggage storage at Charles de Gaulle so I am going to leave my bag in baggage storage and hopefully my girlfriend will do the same um, she's gonna be tired of me because she's about to video me and she doesn't know it but after she gets a snack what was I supposed to be doing I pushed the button yeah it's I pushed the me. button yeah. is it recording it's okay. recording all right all right. We're on our way to our gate. Am I following you? Yeah, sure. Okay. This way. Come this way. All right. Am I in front of you? Sure. Here's our gate. Let's go. How okay. am I doing? You're good. You're good. You're good. There's our aircraft that we're waiting for hey guys all right so we're here at the gate uh, we should be boarding i don't know maybe like in the next probably the next 30 minutes or so but we're just hanging out at the gate I love you tremendously. And I 
have lunch, so that's good. We are on the flight, getting ready to take off from O'Hare. We're here. Okay. Alright you guys, so we have a road to ourselves so far. We'll see. Hopefully we'll get lucky and nobody will sit in between us because we're going to be like this. <laughs> anyway, um, we're on our way to Paris and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. No sense in vlogging while I'm on the plane. That's why is this so blurry? Okay, that's better. Yeah, I'm just some blogging while I'm on the blogging while I'm on the plane. So I'm gonna drink some water because I need to stay hydrated and see you guys soon. Landed in Charles de Gaulle and we are exiting the plane. We're going to Paris. We're going to do a little exploring for a few hours and then come back to the airport and catch our connecting flight to Cairo. We are here at the Eiffel Tower. Yes, just finished taking a few pictures in front, and now we are. We are headed to our first, sorry y'all, the camera's all janky. We are headed to our first vintage shop. I'm um, gonna try to hit at least two or three before we head back. We got about four or five hours and we gotta grab something to eat, so. There we go. So this is a, the oh. name of the store is American Vintage, but that's the brand. So we're gonna head to another store. <laughs> okay, all right. So we just left out of this place, a little boutique called B, B A and S H. Um, I'm gonna pop a little picture from their website um, up here. I didn't take any video while I was in there, but they had some beautiful pieces. They had a pair of green suede boots. gorgeous and um, everything was just very well done um, very well constructed so we're on our way to tragic vintage on the metro and head there um, there are a few little shops all in um, but they're they're not open today I don't think um, they're all kind of in a cluster so hoping to be able to see more in one place be back. Okay, next stop is Tragic Vintage. And let's hope we have better luck at this place.
great look. I like that top up there. It's just a goofy that little one up here. Sequence one? Up here above your head. Oh. Oh yeah, that is cute. Oh, that's sexy. That's cute. Wait, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking for one of these. Really? Yeah, I, I like this kind of style jacket. I cut your face off, sorry. <laughs> Are those pants? Yes. Those That's pants a jumpsuit. Fire. That's a jumpsuit. Okay. Yeah. But it's pants. It's not a skirt. Oops. Is this pants? Yeah. All right, so we are at the second store. This is Mercado. And I'm already seeing some really cute things in the window. But it looks like it's more than just clothing. It looks like it's bags and other things too. So okay, so this looks great. It's got like a lot of luxury handbags. Oh, I see one that I like. A mini Jody bag. I see Dior bag. I see some um, Bottega. And, oh, very nice. I see Chanel. Wow. Sunglasses. All right, let's see what they have in the back. Great jewelry, too. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got here. This is beautiful. 
Yeah, so everything in here is second hand. It's a little higher end than um, what we were just saying. Oh, this is a really cute Chanel like windbreaker type jacket. And uh, this is a, like a Gucci dress. Wow. Okay. Let's see what you're doing here. Oh, this is cute too. That's a cute jacket. It's like a, it's made like a denim jacket, but it's in wool. It's by Pablo. And then here's a jacket by Chloe. It's a beautiful color as well. All right, let's see what's in the other room. Okay, this is a beautiful orange blazer. I don't see the price on it, but I am very tempted to go home. Let's see what you got. I said two gila roche. Oh, I lost it still. Uh, a Pierre Cardin. Let's see that one. Nina Ricci. Oh, okay. Oh, I love those buttons on there. I know, the buttons are. Yeah. Which one makes it? Yeah. Pierre Cardin, okay. Okay. Oh, Nina Ricci, you haven't seen that in a right. while. What about this puffer coat? <laughs> I was gonna take this off and put that on so I could be warm. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna try this on. This one is better priced. So, I think I just bought myself another coat. I decided not to get that one. It was really in bad shape on the inside. So, I thought I would try this jacket on. It just barely fits. some sweaters All right, that you guys, we're here cute. at Vintage by Ramin. And we're going to take a pop 
look inside. But first, we're gonna look at all the beautiful balconies. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Bonjour. <laughs> so, lots of jeans, pants, cargo pants. Vintage Levi's. Jacket. Let's go in this way. are really good you see five and ten euros um, they are on instagram so i will put their information below We are at Vintage, where you choose, weigh, and take away. Um, this is called Kauai. It's the kilo shop, so they weigh the pieces that you're getting. And they've got some sales going on, so let's go in.
Okay, I didn't buy anything, but I thought they had some really nice pieces in there. So now we are going to uh, prepay vintage. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. Here is one more store. Um, actually, the store we just came out of, I have been there before. I remember, I distinctly remember going in there. So we're going to try this store. I remember when I was here um, at this store, this beautiful bag that they are not selling, but it is amazing. Look at that. I'll see if I can get a close-up of it. I 
so they have another free pea star right next door with more stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna just browse really quickly. Okay, I will definitely post the address of these stores. Um, this one is on 61. The other one is, I think it's 60, and then the one next to it is 63. Um, but they have three stores right in this area. Um, this vintage, which wasn't really a vintage store, but it's there next to it, and Kauai, which I thought was really nice because you can weigh your items. Um, but they're all in this general vicinity together, which is nice because you can do all of your thrifting in one place. Um, I think this is another one. Yeah, I think this is another, like, you weigh the pieces. Another kilo shot. But uh, <laughs> I wish I had more time. I'm going into this one. I remember coming into this one before.
Okay, so this store is Passe Saint Opportune. I'm just gonna take a look really quick inside. These are beautiful. Look at these jackets with the um, designs on the back. That is gorgeous. And they have bags, denim jackets, bags, corduroy jackets with all these beautiful designs on it. The store is very pretty. All right, we gotta go catch our train. <laughs> Tonight. We're only Wait, here for a yeah, day. Yeah, our flight leaves at he six. He said you just What's closed five minutes ago? Six o'clock. No, the flight is at six. Minutes ago. You don't have anything Six o'clock tonight. Left. Yeah, you all just closed seven, eight minutes ago. No, we we are actually, the restaurant is closing. He's from Chicago. <laughs> oh, you're coming. <laughs> How long did you stay here? We're we just, just here got here this day. morning. Oh, like a few school. hours ago. Oh, okay. It's just for like the yeah. train. It's just a day. Yeah. yeah. It's a layover. So yeah. that's give you a reason to come back in Paris. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we don't need a reason to come back to Paris. <laughs> but... All right. So what is the name of it? <laughs> in those plantains. All right. So we are at this other spot that was recommended to us. So we're going in. So we had a really great meal at um, Shea, oh, I forget the name of it. <laughs> anyway, we had a really good meal. Uh, it was delicious. No, that was the first one. Yeah, that was Mama Cosa was the first. Mama Cosa was closed. I'll show you the name when we get back outside, but you can see how well we ate. Not much left. <laughs> Alright, this is outside the restaurant. It was Shea Kadi. It's a Senegalese restaurant, and y'all, it was so good. We had the um, croissant with the rice. So, rice and um, fish it was really good. For your flight? Yeah, I we're great so. for our yeah, flight. Because the valise, the baggage is already inside. Okay? That's correct. Yes. We just Very have to good. stop at the lockers. You go for the free, something. you dance, and you go to the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> How much do we owe you, sir? It's Goodbye to Perry for now. And we're now boarding our flight to Cairo. We are in the back of the plane. Explain to me why I didn't upgrade my seat. <sighs> Next time, on the way back, I'm getting upgrade. Okay, so I'm on my connecting flight to Cairo.
here in Cairo. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. All right, you guys. So, better quality now. 4K over here and a clearer screen. We are walking to the vehicle. We made it to Cairo and it feels great out here. It's not cold. We're in a... It is. It's very nice. And the rivals. We made it. Yay. So we are with our guide right now who is taking us to the car. <laughs> oh, it is so beautiful. The airport is amazing. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. It looks like a golf course. Okay. We're in the car? We are in the car. We are what headed. can we need you? Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay. And I'm Jen. What's the first day today? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what is your name? Hazim. Hazim. Yeah. Okay. Hazim. Very good. Oh, I thought it was Hazim. 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 Hazim by Arabic means the serious man. The serious man. But okay. I haven't. Any serious in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 